Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Half Gazette. Here with the next video, and this one I think is worth making. It's on should you bring four or five healers on a queen walk, and it's actually a little more complicated than you guys think, but I'm gonna do my best to simplify it, uh, keep it simple for you guys. This is just a random replay I'm showing. I'll get to some uh, replays that demonstrate the specific examples I'm talking about in just a second. Uh, but first, as we watch this replay, I just wanna go through in general uh, what the rules are uh, for bringing four healers, for bringing five healers. So right off the bat, the default um, for Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and even Town Hall 11, which this video should all apply to in some sense, the default is bringing four healers any less um, typically isn't going to be a good idea unless it's a very small queen walk. Any more is just not worth it because of the reduced heal. So the default is going to be four. Um, the question becomes when should I use five healers because that's the only number of healers uh, besides three in some circumstances that's going to be that common. So it's not quite as simple as more damage, more healers because we have rages, we have the ability, we have things for more damage. So it's kind of like okay, well, if not more damage, when should I bring that fifth healer? And there's two circumstances uh, in which you, you want to bring that fifth healer. I'm going to make this very simple. Uh, the first circumstance, and we'll look at examples in a moment, is when there's a lot of point defense, so much so that th you can't just rage the healers, that won't be enough. And this is assuming you don't have the queen's ability either. That might seem kind of rare, but at Town Hall 11, if, you do, if you're a Town Hall 10, doing a two-star attempt on a Town Hall 11, for example, there can be a ton of max point defense, maybe three, four, sometimes even five, plus CC troops, heroes. There can be instances where there's a ton of damage going at your queen. That's when that fifth healer is going to be necess necessary, especially if you're entering the base, and I'll get into that second uh, one in just a second, which is more related to that. But when there's a ton of damage coming at your queen, doesn't apply to Town Hall 9s quite as much, but it can. Um, in certain circumstances, you don't have the queen's ability, and there's a lot of damage coming. Uh, so just think about it. Uh, oftentimes you do a queen walk at Town Hall uh, 10 for a long, a long queen walk. And we'll look at an example in a second. And that's going to be when you're going to want to do it on certain Town Hall 11 uh, bases where your queen's taking a ton of damage. Where four healers under rage won't do the job. You need that fifth raged healer to even keep her up. That's a lot of point damage, but it does happen. The second circumstance is the threat of a healer going down, which will make it so you only have three healers. That's when you want to bring five healers so you only go down to four healers if a healer does go down. Now the healer will go down possibly because of a seeking air mine, possibly because of an air defense. Either one's a possibility. Um, but not only that, now if that's the case, you might want to bring the fifth healer. But even if that is the case, there could be circumstances where you only still want to bring four healers because you have to look at the attack and say, if a healer goes down, how how much in trouble am I? Is that a big deal? Sometimes the three healers won't matter. You'll have a rage anyway, or the queen will stop taking damage. She might meet up with your kill squad. So you have to think, is there a serious threat of a, of a healer going down to a seeking air mine or an air defense? And if that's the case, do I need to make sure that if that happens, I still have four healers for my queen? Is that going to make a difference having three versus four healers after one of them goes down? So let's take a look at a few replays to demonstrate these concepts. Uh, we're going to start um, down here. This is the war. Good job to Genesis. Our first war since the uh, two-week ban. Off to a good start already. Good to be back. Um, first, right off the bat, I just want to say, guys, um, I'm not showing any examples of just a regular Town Hall 9 queen walk around the outside of the base. You pretty much always want to bring four healers or less for that. I can't think of a circumstance where you want to bring a fifth healer. Um, it's very difficult to say, okay, I don't have to bring the rage if I have a fifth healer because the fifth healer will ha add just enough healing to keep the queen from going down without a rage. That's too hard to predict. Um, you want to stick to the two circumstances I described. And when you're doing a Town Hall 9 queen walk around the outside of the base, you, they don't. those circumstances almost never apply. So... Um, that's not going to be an issue. Um, so that's why I'm not showing any Town Hall 9 queen walks around the outside of the base, things like that. I just want to show some more examples. They're a little more complicated. This first one is a Town Hall 9 attack. It is a queen charge. So you might be thinking, okay, the first one doesn't apply. There's not going to be a ton of damage. So that the, the, 
uh, to the point where the queen won't be able to stay up even under a rage because he has the ability for the CC troops if there's a bunch of Valks in there. So he's pretty much covered on that. Now you might think he's entering the base. The second circumstance might apply where a Seeking Airmine might pop up and take out one of the healers. And that is true. But like I said, there's the exception. Doesn't matter if you have three healers. In this case, it doesn't matter if one of his healers goes down. And the reason for that is one, he has the ability in two rages. That is a lot of um, things to keep your queen up. It's not like there's going to be a lot of circumstances where it's just the healers healing the queen without any help from the rages. As you can see, a healer did go down to one of those Seeking Air Mines. He is down to three healers. But despite that, as soon as that rage wears off, the queen's taking very little damage uh, just from that cannon. As soon as that archer tower goes down, he doesn't need that fourth healer. So it works out fine. Now, had there been more point defense in the area, maybe a fifth healer would have applied. Um, because he's out of rages at this point, he has to depend. If he wants his queen to stay up, he has to depend on her not taking that much damage. But fortunately, that's the case. So this is an example of where you think the second circumstance might apply. You're entering the base. There's probably going to be a seeking air mine by that air defense. You might want to bring the fifth healer. So when a healer dies, you only go down to four healers. But the exception to that rule applies because it doesn't matter. As soon as he's dealt with the initial CC troops, the initial queen, all that initial damage where he had the ability in those two rages, then he's good to go. The queen doesn't need all that attention. And this also applies if the queen's meeting up with the kill squad. Um, at that point, the damage is off her. You don't need to have the uh, leftover four healers. Three is fine if the queen's meeting up with the kill squad because she'll no longer be on the front lines tanking. She'll be sitting back behind other troops that will be taking the damage for her. So that's another exception uh, to the second rule. But um, like I said, there are certain circumstances where you want that fifth healer because you're suspecting the, uh, a healer will go down to a, to a seeking air mine or to an air defense if the angle doesn't um, add up that right. And uh, you need those four healers for the remainder of the attack. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some other replays, starting with number two here. <clears throat> uh, this is a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 11. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, so right away, you can start to infer, okay, there's going to be a lot of damage coming at the queen. Uh, there's all max point defense on this base, and the queen is doing a huge walk. She's charging very deep into the, ba to the base. So in this case, both rules apply. First, there's going to be circumstances where there's three, I think sometimes even four, hope that doesn't keep coming up, sometimes even four point defense on the queen and when there's that much point defense you can't trust that four healers under rage will even keep her up especially when she's moving around and they can't keep up with her that easily uh, secondly there's going to probably be seeking air mines inside the base or even towards the outside because town hall 11 sometimes put them there to take out baby dragons and if you go down to three healers at town hall 11 especially your queen is in some serious trouble um, three healers is not nearly as effective and uh, so both the rules apply here Definitely wants five healers. You're going to see how big this queen walk actually is. That jump spell is for the queen. Uh, right there is an example of how an air defense might take out a healer, which is part of the second rule. It doesn't just have to be a seeking air mine that's the threat. If the angle's a little weird, the queen might not take out the air defense before it gets one of the healers, which is pretty much equivalent to a seeking air mine taking out a healer. Uh, either way, you lose one of your healers. So those are the two ways the second rule applies. Anyway, though, the queen's going to kind of... Uh, drift off to the side here. There goes the king and some bowlers. Uh, the attack just kind of goes from here. I've pretty much talked about everything that's relevant, so we'll go ahead and go times two just to speed it up. He actually does get the two star, uh, so it's a kind of a weird attack, but uh, the Valks clear out a path for the main group, which will go straight to that town hall after they uh, swing through the wall there. The queen did stay up for a long period of time. Eventually, she does go down, so it worked out fine. On these attacks, especially at town hall uh, 10, when you're getting two stars on town hall 11s, um, you want to play it safe, better safe than sorry. If you're doing a huge queen walk, almost always want to have five healers because the Town Hall 11 point defense is very damaging and oftentimes you're doing a big enough queen walk that you're probably going to hit a Seeking Air Mine or something at that point or at some point in the attack. So uh, one more attack to show as an example. <clears throat> uh, number three here and uh, I hope I don't get heat uh, for showing this Town Hall 10 base that wasn't actually... Uh, three starred. I know some people were mad about the Dark Looters War, uh, which I think I did kind of screw up a little bit on. Um, although there was quite a bit of angry people in the comments too. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, I don't think this clan's going to care that much. They're not that serious of a war clan. And besides, this is a Town Hall 9 uh, two-star attempt in the, on a ring base. So this base has been exposed many times other than on, on my channel. So I think I should be safe to at least show this base. But uh, getting to this attack here, you can see he's bringing the five healers. Um, one thing to keep in mind, at Town Hall uh, 9, if you're doing a, a two-star on a Town Hall 10, which is you know more common lately on these top Town Hall 10 bases, uh, you you have the luxury of having some troop space to spare, so sometimes better safe than sorry, bring that fifth healer um, when in doubt. But also you can see um, the queen doesn't have any ra rages actually. He uses the ability the ability ability to take out the CC troops, and he uses both the rages on his uh, main s squad of Valks and stuff. So the queen doesn't have any help really, which is why those five healers are helpful because there's going to be a lot of times where there's two point defense on her. He wants the queen to stay up to get percentage and work her way around the base. Now unfortunately that air defense doesn't go down, so all the healers are going to get shot down eventually because they'll come in range of it and the queen can't target it. So the healers are kind of toast, but the principle still applies, right? There's a seeking air mine. Um, had that air defense not been in range, the queen would have got more value and uh, because there's no rages, the fifth healer makes more of a difference here. Uh, it could be the difference between her going down and her staying up when there's going to be, you know, sometimes two max point defense at Town Hall 10 on her. So keep that in mind. Um, there's a lot of different factors at play, obviously, but I tried to make it as simple as possible. Um, I'm going to recap it one more time for you guys who uh, just want to get the... Uh, the overall message one more time at the end of this video as far as whether to bring four healers or five healers basically the default is four healers that's what you want to do in most circumstances the exceptions when you want to bring five healers are if there's a ton of point defense that four healers under rage might not be able to take care of your queen for plus the ability isn't going to last long enough if there's a sustained period of time beyond what the ability can cover, in which the queen's going to be taking a ton of damage, uh, typically from Town Hall 11 point defense, but sometimes at Town Hall 10 too, depending on how big the queen walk is. Uh, the next circumstance is if there's a threat, an initial threat of a seeking air mine or an air defense angle that's going to take out uh, one of your healers. And um, not only that, but also losing one of those healers will be the difference between your queen staying up and going down. Um, sometimes, like in the first attack, you have the rages anyway, and beyond that point, the queen's going to meet up with the kill squad or not take much damage. Uh, so think uh, for the second uh, criteria or criterium or whatever, think um, that the exception is going to be if the queen doesn't need that healer after the fact. But if she does need all four of those healers to kind of finish off the attack, bring the fifth one so you have it as a sacrifice uh, in case the queen encounters the seeking air mine or the air defense or whatever. So hope that made sense. Um, let me know any questions you have in the comments. If you do have some, I'll be sure to check those out. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.